Definitely one of the most fun experiences of my life, being a part of the field hockey program at Colgate. My senior year, they actually gave us our Colgate letter blanket, which I still treasure. It was just one of the best experiences of my whole four years here. These sounds hadn't been heard here before, but in 1973, it all changed. Women who came to Colgate were courageous sorts. I feel like I'm somewhat of a trailblazer when I tell people that the whole college was all male for over 100 years and I was a second class of incoming women. There was a sense of wanting equality for certain. Competitive athletics are a great thing for both men and women. I believe that it's character building. Colgate University began admitting women in 1970. Title IX was signed into law in 1972. By 1973, Colgate would field five varsity women's athletic teams, including field hockey. In the beginning, our club status seasons might have only been a half dozen games. We just would show up at practice and play, and it was great. In those early days, uniforms and equipment were not the best. Practice time was hard to find, and locker rooms for women often didn't exist. But the chance to play and compete was all that mattered. Now, I still don't know my stats. It didn't matter. Uh, you just did as best as you could and hustled, and I'm really happy that I played when I did. They came in and, and played three sports, many of them. The athletes were probably as good or better back then. The travel was fun, but there were no air-conditioned buses or five-star restaurants. Freshman year was very different than the other years um, because we went to away games in cars sometimes. The furthest we ever went was we went to Ithaca, <laughs> we went to Cortland. It was a big trip when we took the Bernie bus. <laughs> we were mostly in the vans when we took the vans a lot. Some of the fondest memories I have are just on those bus rides and staying in the hotels and just the silly antics, you know, that would go on. Those early struggles built a lasting pride, and the commitment and dedication has continued for decade after decade after decade after decade. Forty years of competition, of teamwork, of friendships, of memories. I really enjoyed the team and having that team. They were really more like my family when I was here. I still keep in touch with most of my teammates. We always had fun before the games in the locker room. We would put on the uniform and, and walk out two by two to the field, and it's just really, uh, it's really inspiring to be a part of a group like that. There have been four coaches over the 40 years. Ruth Gehring was the first. Stay focused. Current coach, Kathy Photo, has led the program since 1989. I think when I first came to Colgate, I figured I would coach and the kids would move on after four years and then, you know, you would see them occasionally. But to have maintained those ties over a 24-year period is overwhelming. There have been hundreds of players who all helped to strengthen the program. The roster of Raiders through the years includes all conference and all academic honorees and an All-American. There have been great teams. The 1980 squad won a record 15 games. The 1996 Raiders won the Patriot League championship. When we took the championship from Lafayette, we came in as the fourth seed. Uh, they were the first seed playing on their turf. That was a, a spectacular moment for us. Everybody ran out onto the field and we were just all crying and screaming and it was just, um, it was such a great feeling. I can feel it now. Being able to win a Patriot League championship was significant. That coupled with when you think about the success of the program in 79, that women's team was one of the first teams at Colgate to achieve national recognition. One, two, three, yay! Today, Colgate field hockey and Colgate women's athletics are strong. The Raiders are led by Vicki Chun, the first full-time women's athletic director at Colgate. The Raiders have the finest facilities, from their home turf at Tyler's Field, to the team room, to the weight and fitness equipment. They play in the Patriot League against other top academic institutions in the Northeast. 
When I arrived, uh, Colgate was relatively recently co-ed and there were only a, a limited number of women's um, varsity sports teams. Uh, and since then, um, it, everything has expanded. Those early ragtag road trips have been replaced by air-conditioned travel buses and hotels and first-class meals. In 2012, the team traveled to Europe together. It was an amazing experience, uh, really unforgettable. It was a great team bonding, and being able to play teams over there um, provided us with a different type of competition and something I'll never forget. I think it made a very special experience for the players in my year and, and in our era because he got the opportunity to travel, to have nice uniforms, and it felt very special. I think they appreciate what they have and the things they've been given. I think it's hard historically for them to look back. I think some of the things, the struggles that the people had in the 70s and even the 80s, it doesn't, it doesn't compute for them because in the span of their history of sports, they know nothing else but what they're accustomed to now. So I think that's a sign of progress to think that in their lifetime they can't imagine that you would have anything other than what they have now, which is a really high quality of, of an experience. Team on three. One, two, three. Team! Team. Colgate field hockey has come a long way in 40 years, but ultimately, it's the team and the friendships. It's the game and the competition. Those bonds and those memories are what last forever. The family that we created as we went through the experience of playing together was truly life-altering. I love playing field hockey. I love studying overseas. I love the whole experience. In terms of what it can do for you, in terms of ingraining that kind of work ethic and just working really hard towards a goal, I mean, you carry that through your life. And I've done a lot of different things since then that maybe I may not have done. I knew I could do it because I survived a photo preseason. <laughs> to see how those women have transformed themselves from their beginning as a freshman, to then go on and transition from Colgate into the other phases of their lives, whether it's continuing education, raising a family, business opportunities, and to look back over 24 years and see just 24 years of amazing women doing amazing things.